Clothing bales, what are they? Do you guys know anything about them? And have you ever bought yourself a clothing bale? What's happening guys, Brent here, your Cape Town promo guy, better known as CPT promo guy across the platforms, Instagram, YouTube, and now TikTok. I've just started an account. How's it guys? If you are new to this channel, definitely give this video a like. And if you would like, I spontaneously, when I have a moment, drop a video just like this, sharing what I am up to with my business and how I'm running my business and what's going on. And today I've just bought myself my very first bail. Took a few days to get here, but it is finally here and I'm super pumped. This is such a milestone for me and my business. I'm really excited and I'm so excited to actually see the bale because it's really good quality actually. I was super impressed when I opened up the bale because you know how it is. You hear all these funny stories about uh, buying clothing bales and <laughs> And yeah, you along the way stress out a bit and yeah, it starts to stress you out until it gets you. So this morning I got the bale, it was like a 35 kg bale and I have to haul it up the stairs here in Gateway Park and yeah, got into my office and I opened it up and yeah, it's really looking good. I'm super, super stoked. Um, but for you guys who have no idea what I'm talking about, Clothing bales are basically, um, it's really a massive bag of clothing, right? Now, um, you do get different types of bales. Um, going into winter, you're getting all the winter bales at the moment. And that's normally consisting of winter clothing. And it's just like a mix match of different clothing items. You know, your hoodies and your sweaters and your jerseys and your jackets will be in one bale. And you kind of just buy the bale and hope that, um, yeah, uh, you get enough in that bale that you're going to be able to sell and get a good markup on and whatnot. And that's really normally for the retail stores, right? But with my business here at Blueprint Promotions, I am a promotional company. So I'm selling promotional clothing to the end user, branded to the end user. For them, whether it's a corporate company and they're using the t-shirts or the clothing for their uniforms or their events. But in this case, the bale is going to be used for an event um, or multiple events, actually, uh, because there's 240 t-shirts in the bale and the bale has a sort of a ratio of small to three extra, extra large and it is only t-shirts and this is the difference with between my bale and other clothing bales out there uh, other clothing bales have a mixed match of different clothing items in the one bale um, but this one is specific just for t-shirts and that's why i'm really so excited because you know uh, my game is full of that, you know, uh, that's what I need. I need blank t-shirts and I need blank t-shirts at good prices, yeah. So, um, for further ado guys, let's jump into the next part of the video. I'm going to show you guys me cutting up the, um, the bale and then I'm going to work through some things of why I ordered the bale and what I'm going to be using it for and I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit more about that. So let's get into that. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to put the opening of the bale on the side of me so you guys can see how big the bale is. Surprisingly, it's actually quite small. I was quite uh, surprised when my supplier gave me the size. Um, I was like, how can you put 240 t-shirts in such a small area? But yeah, they seem to sort of, um, you know, secure it really small and yeah. Um, sort of vacuum pack if I can say that um, some sort of a vacuum pack of some sort but they squash 240 of these t-shirts into this one bale so as you can see I'm opening it up now and yeah I'm just uh, getting busy opening it up um, it is kind of hard I found it was kind of hard to open the bale um, obviously it's super tight you know they're obviously wanting to keep the t-shirts uh, nice and firm in that one area because it's obviously being um, shipped across the world um, I'm not sure exactly where this bale comes from I didn't ask my supplier that um, but 
yeah, like I said in the intro, I was like quite surprised um, on the quality. It was really good. Um, I was quite happy, you know, when I opened it up, I was quite happy. Um, it's got a bit of a, a rough sort of carded cotton um, material to it. And uh, yeah, I was all in all really happy, you know. Um, like I said in the intro, it does come in a ratio. So I'll just quickly go through the ratio with you guys. Um, so it's from small to 3XL is the batch that I've got of these 240 units on the t-shirts. Uh, we got 40 smalls, we got 60 mediums, we got 60 larges, uh, 40 extra larges, 22 extra larges, and 23 extra larges. So all in all, that's your 240. Um, this bale is actually specific specific for one customer okay um, you'll see it's actually a green t-shirt uh, when you see I start opening it up uh, the green t-shirt is uh, for a specific company um, the reason why uh, we went this route to get the bail okay and this is like the bulk of the video that I wanted to share with you guys today and what I'm finding that is a problem for me all right as a reseller right the the re the, the, the wholesalers <laughs> if I can say that uh, and I do say wholesaler in air quotes for a reason okay because um, you can basically call them a wholesaler but I mean us guys as resellers when we take the the wholesalers t-shirt costs and we are now um, adding our markup we are also adding the print costs and everything like that you know it starts to get quite costly for the end user especially if they're ordering bulk and then ordering big quantity you know if it was a big corporate or big event or big something large you know where we're going you know like over 200 t-shirts I mean for some of you maybe 200 t-shirts isn't a lot um, but for me as a smaller reseller at a smaller promo company you know um, when I'm dealing with the, the small to medium companies and they are starting to use you know 200 t-shirts at a time um, they ask for discounts obviously you know everyone wants a discount everyone says no Brent we're using you a lot now you know and it's a consistent basis and you know how are we supposed to get better prices and um, this was how I went about it okay um, I knew that I had to if I'm gonna keep this customer on board because they were complaining about the um, pricing if I'm gonna keep these guys on board then I'm gonna to have to make a plan for them right okay so I went and I sourced, sourced a bale supplier, okay? Because I'd heard and checked all over social media. And I'm following a couple of other uh, clothing bale suppliers here in Cape Town. But I found one in Joburg that um, had a really good price. And I could put my mark up on it. And when I told them about it, they were very happy about it. But I did say to them, they have to take the 240. They must take the, the full bale of 240 units and they uh, obviously need to take the full bail. I'm not going to take on the bail and then siphon it off to them, you know, when they order. Okay. I might be able to do that later on because that's also my idea of things is to have stock to buy bales in specifically black t-shirts, you know, that I can resell easily in the singles. Okay. And then I'll do that through CPTs, which is my t-shirt brand and the other business that I run, uh, specifically more just orientated around t-shirts and um, t-shirt branding and printing. Um, but um, so I'll do that through CPT. So that's my sort of end goal with this whole thing. And that's why I'm actually so excited about this because it being my first bail, I'm now sourced a supplier and we're kind of in that sort of stream of going towards that and getting stock and uh, keeping stock here in Maitland on blank t-shirts and then just printing them off and selling either singles, you know, um, or to other promo companies or um, yeah, bulk t-shirt supply, printed t-shirt supply, where I can do a nice price for the end user, you know, because uh, like I said earlier, the so-called wholesalers, when we are putting a markup on the t-shirt and putting the print cost and everything like that, it starts to get a little bit too costly when we're doing bulk runs. So that's really why I had to go this route with the bail and I'm super stoked how it all turned out. The t-shirt's looking great and I'm really excited on the future for uh, blueprint promotions when it's using bail suppliers or when it comes to CPTs and me reselling 
the blank t-shirts um, to the end user with this cost line because I am super excited here. I think I can, I've got a real good chance to affect the market with this cost uh, where you know I can definitely buy, bypass the so-called wholesalers here in Cape Town and um, yeah I'm able to actually sell the t-shirt uh, to the end user for the same cost that us as resellers are buying the blanks from the wholesalers here in Cape Town so I'm super excited you guys can see my face I'm really excited about everything um, but that's basically in a nutshell what I wanted to share with you guys today that is my development here at Blueprint Promotions but um, yeah, if you guys are new to the channel and you want to follow me, I do um, add and um, upload videos like this and just sharing my experience on running Blueprint Promotions, um, being a reseller in this game um, and yeah, a guy who prints t-shirts, brands up caps and promo gifts, you know, for the end user, for their events, their marketing purposes or their promotions. So yeah, if you want to uh, follow my channel, uh, that'll be awesome. You can just click that subscribe button on the side of the, the screen there. Um, but that is my video today, guys. My very first bail. Super pumped. And yeah, it's, um, it's, yeah, it's good times here at Blueprint Promotions moving forward. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video if you want to stick around on my channel and check out what I've been up to. See you guys. Cheers.